coño! ¡Hacere! ¡You look like shit! I thought you motherfuckers were on rations. <laughs> Still a dick. Still dry. Good for you. I'll drink his. Miguel. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't come for you sooner. I tried. You know I'd never forget you. No bullshit, Carlos. We do what we do to survive, mi hermano. Enough talk. Give me that fucking guitar. <laughs> did good, Torres. When I first saw you, I wanted to gut you like a crocodile, but you're Montero now, Danny. Gracias. So, do I call you Papa now? Shut up and drink. So we're good friends now, see? No hard feelings? Almost blowing you up is the past. We got to look to the future. And I see a military truck in your future. With special ammo, special weapons, and a special sauce. I'm feeling once a real bad. I like to plan ahead. And I got big plans to bump up the Montero firepower, see? First step is that truck. They're loading up. Suerte. Bring it back and we'll talk. Billy, I'm at the marina. Now, whatever happens, just don't bounce the sweet baby. What? The truck, don't damage it. Drive like there's a big bouncy baby feel in the back. Bouncing baby feel. Got it. You're gonna make baby feel cry. Just bring that truck back in one piece. Okay, hero? <laughs> One very stolen truck is on the way. Perfect. Okay, send it straight into my loin arms. But don't let nobody follow you. Huh? Be like a cat in the night. A smooth, sleek, sexy cat. Yeah. Eh, I'm more of a dog person. So is Shorty, so. But he forgets sometimes.
Cola, sin cola. The hero returns. Yeah, and the hero needs rum. <laughs> Pinga. What's happening here? Feeling magic, babe. Mierda, I almost died for packing foam. No, 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 no. White gold. Hard to get. Birds like a motherfucker. Everything got to know a purpose, Hiro. Even you. Papa didn't scare. I need your help to find the lieutenant. Our soldier friend said he saw Napoleon El Pequeño's private island. So you and me are going to take a boat from a dock in Siniestra to Cayo Villarreal. Real. We take out this Singao and Jose's whole operation crumbles. But keep this between you and me, okay? Papa's got enough stress to deal with right now. See you at the boat. Taking a lot of risks for one lieutenant. You want to complain? You can swim. <laughs> nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey, we have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once. South of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, is the day hell freezes over, Danny. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. Not me, just Papa. <laughs> sure, sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See, si. that's how we got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again, like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape, bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. Carlos doesn't have a plan. His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon El Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit, but if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things, be agile, stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. You 
you smoking Mexican? Tabaco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come mierdas. Shit. ¿Qué pasa? Jose fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's with the lieutenant we've been looking for. Looks more like a scientist. Let's take Jose out. No. You might hit the lieutenant. What's going on? Fuck. Hey, over there. I need to know where that scientist is going. Let's search his place for intel. Let's go. Maybe his friend by the helipad can help. We were chosen by General Castillo to patrol his personal island. Scientist man. This says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island. Let's go check it out. Maybe there's something that tells us where he went. Congratulations and welcome to my island, fellow soldiers. You are here to help you. Madre de Dios. Fuck that shit. Think Jose's got a computer around here?
No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. El Pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse just south of here. Cojones. Can you let me in? Done. I'll stay and see what else I can find. Suerte, Danny. Gracias. José es un monster. Hola. José was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. Enfermo mental. I shouldn't be surprised. Good work, though, Danny. I found where that scientist works. The Singao we saw earlier. His lab's in Revmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then are you going to tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need you to know. 